Hello party people, welcome to this week's vlog. I want to start off by talking about my favorite book of the year. I think I've found it. It is by far the funniest book I've read, the one I've enjoyed most. And it's the only one, when I finished it, gave me that feeling of, of sadness, you know, when you close a book and you no longer get to live in that world anymore. And that book is Big Swiss. I went in with no context, I think I heard someone mention it in one of their like monthly wrap-ups as being a very fun read. And who doesn't love cover art? It's like a classic painting of a suggestive, sapphically coated woman. So this book is about a precocious girl who grows up to be a, kind of a loser in her middle age. But she isn't like a bitter 45, she's like a fun and quirky 45. And I have been telling friends that she is the uh, most hilarious bisexual character ever committed to print. Her name is Greta, and Greta has my dream job. She is uh, someone who transcribes therapy sessions for her small town's uh, sex therapist. This job gives her income, some stability in what is a very chaotic life that she's led, and she also gets insight into, you know, the small town's various sexual dysfunctions, aspirations, weird perversions. It's too bad machine learning's taking away all the pervy transcription jobs. So the most stable period of Greta's life is interrupted with when she has a chance encounter with one of her boss's patients, the titular big Swiss, and Greta risks it all to indulge in her morbid fascination with big Swiss. I have been recommending this to all of my friends. Uh, could be a fun content idea. I've been reading a handful of books about other people's therapy. Could be fun to do a little, uh, little ranking video of that. I have also completed another ink drawing this week. Let's see, what do we got here? It's another large format piece because I am trying to use up all my art supplies because I can't buy anymore until I use up my big bucket of like paint and pens and things I've like gathered over like a decade. Um, and what do we got? Uh, I think these are, are these jasmine flowers? I don't know. I take photos as I walk around my neighborhood during one of the three walks a day that I do with my dog. And um, this, I think, um, I think this all came from one photo reference with some adjustments to like, I don't know, I really wanted the negative space to be a little bit more composed than it was in real life. And I gotta say, pretty happy with it. Because I am trying to use up all my art supplies, I am favoring compositions that, um, you know, are very like material heavy and large format. And it's kind of creating this like horror vacui situation. This, like, I think in the past I would have left these like black areas white, but again, I'm just trying to like get through material fast. So I filled it in and I like the effect a lot. A book that I'm reading for Russian book club is The Master and Margarita. And boy, they're just not writing books like this anymore, are they? Fantastically weird. And because the only other book I've read in this book club is Crime and Punishment, also very difficult not to draw a lot of parallels between the two. You know, we've got a protagonist who's kind of grappling with issues of faith and deity and art and creation. Um, I think both books have protagonists that have heard uh, God is dead and are grappling with the ramifications of that. And also, uh, if you are a good enough, brave enough, artistic enough genius, do you need to play by the rules? It's also super funny and filled with jokes that I probably don't understand, but the ones that the footnotes can explain to me, I think are hilarious. So I'm up to chapter 18. Uh, we're just gonna finish it because I think we're like 60% done with the book anyway. So we're gonna finish it and uh, meet up in like a month to talk about our feelings and what we think the book means. i uh, feeling like I could wrap this little snack video up for now. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.